guys yesterday we got a sonar look at what appears to be the port side of the dolly and we can see from these images that the river bottom is meeting the, the hull of the ship right there the ship's grounded um, we really don't know how much weight is on that but we know it is, it's sitting on the bottom there. We kind of can look at this image and you look to the right hand side of it and you see how that's kind of square and we can figure that's the stern. And then as we look to the left going up, that's towards, towards the bow area. And that's, that's the bow area. And then over off to the to the front of that and over to the right or starboard side is going to be some of that debris now this part of it where this ship is sitting you can see where it's making contact here on the bottom it's like that on the other side as well and this is the time where resolve and don john really need to to watch the the debris that's down around this ship when it comes time for this ship to slide out of there. Now we can see from these images provided to us by the Coast Guard and through News 18, they have what appear to be four stern anchors out on the dolly and that's gonna keep, keep the ship from swinging left or right with the stern and then we know that the bow is, is grounded up against what's left of the pylon of the bridge and all that debris that's there. Now, we already know that some of those containers have hazardous materials in them. And we can see that that debris extends visibly on top of the water back to the second stack and you can imagine that underneath it, it's probably falling and probably back to that third, maybe even that fourth stack. The big concern I see here when moving this ship is the, the possibility of puncturing through the hull and into a, into a fuel tank. And that's something you don't want to see as this ship is pulled back away from, from that, what's left of that bridge pylon. As tragic as this situation was, with people losing their lives. You could be adding insult to injury. And I asked the question, Baltimore, is it next? Now, when the, when the Golden Ray capsized in the St. Simon Sound, um, originally I had no idea what to expect. And as things, things, evolved at that situation it, it got worse before it got better it was it was pretty bad and I can tell you you don't want to experience it and I can also tell you you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube once you've given it a squeeze as the golden ray opened up it poured out fuel oil antifreeze, brake fluid, transmission fluid, gasoline, a diesel fuel, heavy fuel oil. And we had some of this get up on our beaches, get up in our estuaries, and it caused a lot of problems. It's not, not good stuff at all. Now there were some filmmakers that came down Jordan Bellamy and Josh Gilligan, and I got to know these guys, and they put together a pretty good documentary on how this thing affected our community. And I think the people at Baltimore might stand watching this video to see, is it next? You guys watch this trailer.
everybody's trying their hardest to do with their job and uh, there's a lot of unknowns and in a lot of ways it's like the virus you know you you kind of learn as you go along you have to change your strategy from time to time as the, you get different data and uh, that's all they can do they can't do anything else than that a local river keeper and people who live nearby say they're seeing a significant environmental impact and they're concerned the government agencies overseeing the cleaning are downplaying it. I can't imagine. I hope we don't see floating cars. Wondering how someone fishing off of this St. Simon's Pier catches a whole fender system. Remember, the Golden Ray is still loaded with more than 4,200 cars filled with batteries, antifreeze, oil, and gas. I'm going to have to live with the consequences of this project if things go awry. I asked DNR, like, hey, can I tell my customers that it's safe to eat the fish? He says, well, as long as they don't have oil on them. Somebody needs to be hung out to dry. Major corporations, salvage companies, billions of dollars of assets and reputations on the lines. Honestly, I think the end of the world is coming. <laughs> I mean, the riots, the pandemics, just politics and all that, it's Everything probably coming. Is spiraling downward. Car carrier. St. Simon Sound near Bowie 19. We need medical support. Medical support. Roger that, good copy and all. And I just want to confirm that this is the Vestal Golden Ray, the cargo ship that capsized. Roger. Now, this story kind of got buried in the national news while it was going on. But I think there's a way that we can get this documentary out where people can see it. Netflix has a way of getting in here and I've kind of laid it out here how this can happen. How to click into, go to the request of movie shows and uh, put in Ship Happens and see what happens there. Um, Maybe they'll pick it up and, and you guys will be able to see it. I wish you could because it's it's a pretty good, pretty good documentary. It kind of sh tells the story of a small town and what can happen. Hey, that's going to be it for the report today. Hey, give us a thumbs up if you've been to the Netflix site and typed in Ship Happens here. Really appreciate that. Let's see if we, see if we can get this, this documentary out. Hey, again... Appreciate you guys being here. Leave us some comments. As always, we're going to say you guys be safe out there.